So how did you get 100 people to pray? I didn't. <laughs> so what, what Jeremy's referencing is we had a, our first really big conference. Um, it was over about 100 people. About 100 people at the conference. Yeah, I think including team members and the people that were at the conference, it was around 100 people. Yeah, so at the end of our conference, so what, what we're here to talk about today is spirituality and business, and we're very different. So I'm a believer in Christ and God, and Jeremy is a Buddhist, right? And so at the end of our conference and before our conference, we get together in a circle and we hold hands and I say a prayer. But the thing is, it's not asking anybody to pray or getting people to pray. What I said at the end of the conference was, hey guys, I'm gonna pray, grab some people's hands. If you'd like to join, join in. Every single person got up and got together. I think it has a lot to do with the intentions of what you're doing, right? And so it's something that an activity I do, and I decide to include other people with it. And I think it goes into intentions and vibration. But Jeremy and I have developed a company that is very unorthodox, like we have integrity, honesty and uncompromising belief. So I believe in following the life of Jesus, kind of a more of an allegory sense. A lot of people don't agree with the way I follow the life of Jesus. It's more of like an act versus uh, I think Christian is being Christ-like. And I talk a lot about it in the business. And then Jeremy's a Buddhist, so I'll let you jump in there. Yeah, so one of the things that uh, I think brings us together is the fact that we look at our, as our religious leaders kind of like the same almost, mm -hmm. is that it's an embody, I don't know necessarily, I think with Buddhism too, you can look at it as like an allegorical sense but but even if you're not and you're looking as a factual sense the things that you can gain from the insight of following uh, Shakyamuni Buddha or the historical Buddha and following the life of Jesus it's they're very similar in what the messages are and I think what we tend to do and how we try to run our business and how we try to run the Academy is by not focusing on people's differences we would rather focus on what how people are alike and I think that that's what's made our company one of the most sought-after companies to work for, mm -hmm. especially people that are in the academy because, you know, most um, Christians for the most part, nothing against Christians, but a lot of people that are um, very heavy into Christianity, yeah. they would think, look at Buddhism and be like, well, that's Satan worship or or not something that you should be following and you need to be a Christian. We don't look at it that way. We bring, people can come in as they are and if you want to, you know, f um, do the fun things that we do and learn the things that we do and, 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 and hang out and, you know, work together, that's that's what's important to us and you will get a lot further finding the similarities yeah. in your religions than finding the differences. Yeah, and I think one of the biggest things that we can fully agree upon is we both worked in corporate America and it was fear-based. It was all based on fear. If you don't hit these numbers or you're not on this call. And so we were driven through fear to hit these numbers in order to satisfy shareholders. So what we've done is a complete opposite, which is in alignment with Jesus and Buddha and other people coming into our academy is fear doesn't do anything for anybody. We get a lot further with love. Now, will you move as fast as other people? Absolutely not. But love builds a foundation and a frequency where people want to be for a legacy. So I think that's one of the biggest things that we can agree upon is we don't embody fear into any of our team members. And so we always say, come as you are, right? And so it's, it's an interesting dynamic. And I believe, I truly believe that the whole business model and infrastructure of corporate America is going to be rewired into love. And when the power of love overtakes the love of power, we have heaven on earth. So... Yeah, and to finish a few last thoughts, too, John wasn't able to sh say that he loved people in corporate America. And if you've met us, we say we love everybody, because we do. We love everybody, and, you know, we try to embody unconditional love with, you know, our clients or customers or people in the academy um, with Brenda who's behind the, the camera right now um, you know love is the most important thing and the fact that we're not allowed to love people in corporate America makes me not want to work there yeah so I guess we'll end by saying we unconditionally love you without expectations other than getting our own shit together so when you hear me say get your shit together it's an endearing quality it's a reminder to myself that I'm perfectly flawed and we love you very much sound good as we always say, warriors, rise. Get your shit together, because we're going to go get our shit together. <laughs>